Hey, what's up everyone? This is SJV Guides I'm making a Fallout New Vegas anti-quick guide on the Gunrunner's Arsenal Achievement Combat Veteran, which is the two-star achievements instead of the one-star or the three-star. And so the first thing you want to do is um, get yourself a 44 Magnum or a machete. Um, I believe sawed-off shotguns and baseball uh, baseball bats work too. You're going to have to check the actual um, challenge. Uh, but yeah. Uh, make sure you know what you're doing, and then go in and kill, I believe you have to kill 20 fiends, jackals, or, uh, vipers. And, um, that's, that's the first challenge right there, all you gotta do is kill 20 of them. And the easiest, uh, the easiest way to do this is obviously just go to, um, Vault 3, or, uh, Southern New Vegas Ruins, I believe, is the name of it. But it, it's, it's in the general area of Vault 3, it's actually, well, Vault 3 is in the Southern New Vegas, uh, thing. So, Southern New Vegas, um... Uh, ruins. So, anyways, um, go in there and um, kill 20, 20 of these fiends, and it's actually pretty simple. I mean, they, they don't really put up too much of a fight. Um, the, the best weapon I saw one of them had was a plasma rifle, and then inside they have, like, inside Volt 3, which actually, I'm pretty sure there's more guys inside Volt 3 than there are outside, so, because Volt 3 is, like, their home base, so they got, like, uh, outside their, their, their best weapon is, is plasma rifle. Inside their best weapon would be a flamer or a um, 44 magnum, which is what you're supposed to be using. But anyways, uh, moving on. I'm actually gonna drink some water because I'm thirsty, and this is gonna be a 12-minute commentary. So yeah, mm, tasty. Anyways, um, so yeah, and, and you, you can also do this with uh, you know, if guns aren't your thing, you can do this with uh, machetes or baseball bats or I, again, I believe sawed-off shotgun. Oh, that could be a later on. One, but I know I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it is. But um, yeah, just make sure you bring in tons of ammo. Uh, it's it's one to two shots with normal, and I mean I was like level I think 32 when I did this. So it, 32 with the guns at 100, it's one to two shots um, with normal bullets, and then a one shot uh, hollow point because they don't really wear armor. They kind of wear like I don't even know what they were. They were they were like screwed up tires and like I don't even know that they cut up tires and where I'm like I don't even I don't know but um yeah so and make sure you got like a, the the reloading perk because the reloading perk helps so it helps a lot because it takes forever to reload this magnum if you don't have it and this is just like one fluent motion as you can just see like that um and I'm wearing power armor I'm wearing T T51B um really any just higher armor like the Desert Ranger combat armor and Stuff like that um, will actually help you a lot because I mean it, you won't die that fast if you're if you're wearing like leather armor and stuff, but it's it's always an added bonus, you know. Um, and and if you're playing hardcore mode, and you, you got to bring all that uh, all that uh, ammunition, and with the uh, power on, you get an extra strength, a strength bonus. But uh, yeah, I I found about. I want to say 15 guys outside of Bolt 3, and then the rest I had to go in and kill. And there was there was like three of them outside of um, the actual South New Vegas ruins, um, which is where I'm in right now. And there's three of them outside. So I, I'd say you probably have to go in Bolt 3 no matter what. Um, although you could probably look around outside uh, the South New Vegas ruin area and uh, find some enemies, some fiends, but. Um, but yeah, yeah, this this overall, uh, this achievement is not that difficult to get, although the second challenge that I do is uh, is probably the most difficult one I've done. It's, um, you gotta take out super mutants with either the Bozar, the Ripper, and then there was one other thing you could use, but those are the only two I tried. And the Bozar, it worked, it, it, like, it was, it was actually terrible against super mutants. I don't know, like, okay, if you don't know what Bozar is, it's, uh, the 5.56mm sniper rifle the automatic uh sniper rifle the new one and a it just costs way too much like there's no point of buying that just to kill 30 super mutants and then load the game back because it didn't even do anything like okay the armor the armor piercing ones it took a whole clip of the armor piercing ones a whole 30 rounds just to kill a one super mutant like that's just outrageous there, there's no reason uh, the Ripper, I have to say, if, if you're gonna do the second one, then definitely use the Ripper. The, the Ripper helped a lot. It was like, I mean, it wasn't like I have a, I have a low uh, melee. Um, I guess I guess that's what it would be. It wouldn't be unarmed, and um, obviously that didn't really help very much. But I'm sure if you had an even like an average one, I, I have like a 15 for my uh, melee. 
But if you, I mean, if you even had a 15, it's still gonna work really, really well. Um, especially at full health, too, because I just bought one, so it worked. It, it worked out pretty well. Um, but uh, anyways, oh, and at the end of this, I actually end up getting mad and I pull out my uh, medicine stick and just beat the hell out of them with that. But I don't know. I don't. Really, I don't even think I showed do it. We're gonna find out. By the way, the medicine stick is not a uh, stick. It's actually a. Uh, a gun, uh, upgraded gun. But anyways, moving on. Um, so as you can see, I am at what is this place called? Jacobstown. I'm at Jacobstown, and I gotta kill 15. I want to say 15. It might, it might be 20. 15, whatever. Super mutants with the um, the uh, Ripper, and as you the, or the boson, which uh, I already said, don't don't use the boson. But as you can see here, I just killed that guy with the survival, uh, survivalist rifle, and you may be asking, why the hell did I just do that? That was a super mutant. And the reason is, is because that guy is not only a super mutant, he's Marcus, and for some reason, the Ripper, like, cannot do any damage to him at all, like, it takes 20 years to kill him. Um, so I just decided to kill him with my rifle, and then go in and kill the other super mutants, you know, just, just makes things easier. So, um, that's exactly what I advise you to do, uh, makes things a hell of a lot easier, because then you've only got two super mutants in the front. Oh, and by the way, night can count, by the way. Night can count as a, a kill for the river. So that is actually really nice, because I, I thought I was gonna run out of super mutants, because I had to go inside the building, but, um, we're all good. We are all good. And I'm, I'm liking this ripper, it's like this mini chainsaw of death. It's pretty crazy. But, and then I ran into, a uh, Lily, and she's even harder to kill with the Ripper than, um, Marcus is, so I just decided to kill him with her with my, uh, my survivalist rifle. But then, only problem with this is that then, um, the other stupid mutants start picking up her, her gun, which isn't really that great, but it's kind of annoying, because it's like a, a, kind of a good submachine gun, so... It's an M4, but, uh, if you don't know what that is, it's also known as an assault carbine in the game. Yeah, I know. I, okay, I said that. Okay, I said. Well, let me just tell you. I said that in uh, a video. I want to say a month ago. It was like a breakdown of a video, and it was this guy holding that gun, the assault carbine, also known as an M4 in real life. But it was the assault carbine. And this guy was holding it and just spraying it at this enemy, and I, 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 I called it the assault carbine because that's the name of it in the game. It's called the assault carbine. Not, not, not the. Just it's called assault carbine. So. That's what I called it. I knew what the name is. I don't, you know, I don't, I'm not going to call it that because then people are going to get mad. So I'm just like, alright, it's the assault carbine. There you go. Somehow, I swear to God, 20 people commented. It's not an uh, assault carbines are not real weapons, okay? They're not real. And like, I know that. Just please, I know that. I mean, like, honestly, like, I had to, like, tell them all, I know the assault carbine is not real. I never said that. I'm just calling it what the game calls it. Can I do that? I mean, <laughs> Oh my god. But anyways, uh, moving on. So yes, the Assault Carbine is a gun in the game. Okay, keyword game. Um, which is, which is good. But anyways, into the Jacobstown Lodge. Which by the way, there is a snow globe here, which is worth 2,000 caps. Uh, nice find, if you didn't know that. Although I don't, I don't pick it up here, so. Kinda sucks for you, but whatever. You can look at the New Vegas wiki if you need to. Um, uh, but, uh, but yeah. So, we are in here, and, um... I don't know if this is true, but for some reason, Keeney, I don't know, like, I don't know if this is true for other, uh, special mutants and nightkins, but, the Keeney guy, the special nightkin that, like, hates it when you stare at him, he counts as a kill, uh, for the, um, for the challenge, or the achievement, and, um, so that's good, but I don't know if the other ones do or not, so, yeah, I, again, you can try killing them, they're not that easy to kill with the Ripper, though, so I just use the, uh, rifle, but Keeney is really easy to kill with the Ripper, so you can just, like, one up, he, he's easier to kill than, the super mutants, like just this normal one, so. Yep. Yep. But, uh. But yeah. Make sure to bring plenty of stin packs, because as you can see, I've got T51B and I'm still gonna die. Which, well, I mean, I was, but. Anyways, um. So, it's always nice to bring some stin packs, like, especially medics, too. Medics helps a lot. I, I used to never use medics, but I figured out that it helps relieve pain according to the stealth suit, so, you know, whatever. Ugh, this is a long ass video, a really, really long ass video. But we're almost coming to a, a conclusion of the second challenge, two out of three. And I'm gonna make a save before you do any of this, because uh, one is you're gonna probably have to buy a bunch of new weapons, 
and two is um, this is gonna screw up part of the storyline, and uh, you don't really want that to happen. And actually, I wouldn't I wouldn't really attend doing any of this stuff until you're at least level like 20, um, mainly because you need your skills to be that high. Except, except for this one, this one's really easy. All you need is an assault carbine or any submachine gun, light machine gun, and you can go into the Gamora, the Tops, or the White Glove Society. I forgot what it's called. Um. Okay, I forgot what the casinos club uh, called, but whatever. You can go into any of the casino, uh, c casinos except for Vault 21, which isn't really a casino, the NCR base or outpost, the Las Vegas Boulevard station or whatever, and um, Lucky 38. And all you gotta do in there is kill 15 of these guys, um, or is it 20? I don't know. And it, this is this is the easiest one out of the three, so this is why I decided to do this last. Um, the only thing about this is that you need to bring a lot of freaking ammo, and I, I would do the armor as the easiest to kill. But, okay, look at this. I got 24 and 201 shots right there, okay? Now, at the end, I'm gonna literally have, like, 24 as my last bullet. Like, it's crazy. I'm gonna have, like, a full clip left, and then I'm gonna be done. It's gonna be crazy. These guys are really easy to kill. It's, like, it's probably about half a clip each, and that's that's if you hit them. Like, I wasn't really trying. I was just kind of running around spraying. Um, so, yeah. Um, especially if you have a high gun, it really, really helps a lot, but, uh... The problem with the assault carbine is it does cost, I think, 3,000 caps, which isn't really that bad, but whatever. Um, by the way, it's the M4 in real life and the assault carbine in the game. Yes, yes it is. Ah, <sighs> moving on. So, and there, there, there's plenty of uh, Omeotas and, um, Omeotas, or Omeotas in the, uh, in the casino, so you don't really have to worry about going anywhere else, or else there's going to be at least a hundred of them. And Big Sal actually counts as, um, as one. But, uh, anyways, so here we got the Achievement Combat Veteran. I am definitely a veteran of the combat, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like. Uh, favorite and subscribe and comment if you got any questions that need answered also click on the annotation in the top right or top left to uh, go check out this video of the up to the challenge